IO7. IO7 is the seventh major release of the IO's mobile operating system designed by Apple Incorporated as the successor to IO6. It was announced at the company's Worldwide Developers Conference on June 10, 2013, and was released on September 18, 2013. IO7 includes a redesigned user interface and numerous functionality changes. The design of IO7's new elements was led by Joni Ive, Apple's Senior Vice President of Design. As of April 2014, IO7 has been installed on 87% of all supported mobile Apple devices. The most recent update, 7.1.1, was released on April 22, 2014. History On June 10, 2013, IO7 Beta 1 was announced and released to registered developers in the IO's developer program after the WWDC keynote speech supporting the iPhone 4 onwards, and iPod Touch, 5th generation. IO7 Beta 2 was released to developers on June 24, 2013, adding support for the iPad 2 onwards, and the iPad Mini. IO7 Beta 3 was released on July 8, 2013. Up until IO7's fourth beta, Apple followed a bi-weekly release pattern, but iOS 7 Beta 4 broke this pattern by being released on July 29, 2013, three weeks after its precedent beta, instead of the usual two. Speculation suggests iOS 7 Beta 4 was delayed by one week because of the hacking attempt towards Apple's developer servers that took place only four days before its expected release date. The last beta, iOS 7 Beta 5, was released on August 15, 2013 bringing fixes to iTunes in the cloud, as well as speed and stability improvements. On September 10, 2013, at their iPhone event, Apple announced that iOS 7 would be publicly released on September 18, 2013, for iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad. The golden master of iOS 7 was released shortly after the event. An update to the operating system was released for the iPhone 5S model after reports that the iPhone 5S would prompt for a password instead of accepting the fingerprint of the user. An update was also made available for the 5C model. On March 10, 2014, Apple released iOS 7.1 to the public. This was the first significant update to the OS since it was launched in September 2013. The update landed almost five months since the first beta of 7.1 was made available to developers. Many improvements were made to the OS including, performance enhancements, UI tweaks and Siri enhancements. iOS 7.1 was also the first update which allowed people who were running a beta version of the OS to update over the air to the final release. Design iOS 7 was unveiled during the opening keynote of the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, on June 10, 2013. Billed as the biggest change to iOS since the introduction of the iPhone, the most noticeable change was an overhaul of the user interface. In a promotional video shown during the keynote, I've described the update as bringing order to complexity, highlighting features such as refined typography, new icons, translucency, layering, physics, and gyroscope-driven parallaxing as some of the major changes to the design. The design of iOS 7 noticeably departs from skeuomorphic elements such as green felt in Game Center, wooden newsstand, and leather in Calendar, in favor of flat graphic design with a multiplane 2.5D structure. The icons for iOS 7 were reportedly designed by Apple's marketing team, with them being told to design the apps around the color palette of the icons. Strain from the usual design methodology of iOS. It was also noted that Apple's website displayed different icons for several iOS 7 apps for a period of time, leading to speculation that the icons were already in the process of being changed as the design continues to develop. The iOS 7.1 update brought many further design tweaks. The iOS keyboard has new shift backspace key highlights, the slide to power off UI has been redesigned. The phone app has a new look dialer, and the icons for phone, messages and FaceTime apps have less vibrant colors. It also added support for CarPlay for select iPhone models. Features AirDrop 
iOS 7 integrates Apple's wireless sharing feature AirDrop for the iPhone 5 onward, iPod Touch, 5th generation, onward, iPad, 4th generation, onward, and iPad Mini 1st generation onward. App Store The App Store provides more search options by age range and introduces a new section called Near Me, which allows the user to find out which apps are popular in their area. The App Store also supports automatic app updates. Prior to iOS 7, the user had to initiate the update process. Camera The new camera interface supports the three previous photo modes, video, photo, and panoramic photo, as well as a new square photo mode. iOS 7 also offers live photo filter previewing with nine filters to choose from, as well as a new burst mode and 120 FPS video recording, on supported devices. Control Center The Control Center display is available by swiping up from the bottom of the screen. It provides access to settings such as airplane mode and brightness, media controls, airplay and airdrop, and shortcuts to several apps including a built-in flashlight, clock, calculator, and camera. Other functions offered are the ability to turn on or off Bluetooth, and do not disturb. Lock the screen's orientation. Play, pause, or skip a song, and see what is playing. Connect to AirPlay enabled devices. And quickly access the clock, calculator, and camera apps. Users also have access to AirDrop, previously only available on Macs and newly added in iOS 7 as a method of transferring files between iOS devices. Music and iTunes Radio Along with user interface changes, the Music app also integrates Apple's iTunes Radio service, which is a free, ad-supported service available to all iTunes users, featuring Siri integration on iOS. Users are able to skip tracks, customize stations, and purchase the station songs from the iTunes Store. Users can also search through their history of previous songs. The number of track skips are limited like Pandora Radio service. iTunes Match subscribers will be able to use an ad-free version of the service. The service has pre-loaded stations, including a playlist of trending songs on Twitter. The service also generates a radio station based on input like a single artist with songs by them and others similar. The services selection is expected to learn the user's preferences from input whether the user likes or dislikes the track. Currently, iTunes Radio is available only in the US and Australia, but Apple has announced plans to offer the service in other countries at a later date. The service is only available for iTunes, iOS, and Apple TV platforms. Multitasking iOS 7 builds on the limited multitasking introduced in iOS 4 and provides full multitasking for all apps. The multitasking layer also provides for background updating of apps, and previews of all running apps. The new multitasking dock in iOS now shows a screenshot of the whole app rather than just the icon. CarPlay formerly iOS in the car CarPlay, formerly iOS in the car, released as part of iOS 7.1 uses Siri integration in selected car models to offer eyes-free and hands-free satellite navigation, phone, music and messages integration through the car's screen. CarPlay currently supports iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, and iPhone 5S. Other updates There are seven dynamic wallpapers included in the operating system. All seven have bubble designs with different colors. The bubbles in the wallpapers move based on the device's accelerometers and gyroscope. Static wallpapers now move with the gyroscope in an effect called parallax. Safari in iOS 7 integrates the smart search field first used in Safari 6 for OS X and Mavericks iCloud implementation of iCloud Keychain. Other changes include infinite tabs, parental controls, and improvements to Twitter sharing and reading list. The tab area has also been rearranged to look at the tabs from above rather than a paged front-on view. Siri features a new translucent redesign to match the rest of the system, new male and female voices, 
greater control over system settings, and Twitter, Wikipedia, Bing, and Photos integration. The trusted devices feature alerts the user when they connect their iOS device to a new Mac PC by asking them if they trust the current computer. This feature is meant to prevent iOS devices from being compromised by potentially malicious software on computers or charging devices. Other changes mentioned, but not fully featured in the keynote, include audio-only calling with the new FaceTime audio, notification center syncing and availability from the lock screen, Tencent Weibo integration, Wi-Fi Hotspot 2.0, OS level call blocking, app-specific virtual private networking, VPN, and activation locking through Find My iPhone. Version History, Portable EOS Devices Apple announced iOS 7 on June 10, 2013 at its annual Apple Worldwide Developers Conference WWDC, event, with release announced for sometime in the fall, Northern Hemisphere, or Spring, Southern Hemisphere, 2013. At their iPhone event on September 10, 2013, Apple announced the full release of iOS 7 for September 18, 2013, while also unveiling two new iPhone models, the iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S. With this release, support was once again dropped for older devices, specifically the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch, fourth generation. Supported devices on this release include the iPhone 4 onwards, iPod Touch, fifth generation, the iPad 2 onwards, and the iPad Mini, first generation, and the iPad Mini with Retina display. Reception iOS 7 has received generally mixed reviews. The Nielsen Norman Group compiled a thorough user experience appraisal in which they summarize, flat design hides calls to action, and swiping around the edges can interfere with carousels and scrolling. David Pogue of the New York Times however, praised iOS 7, saying that users will become accustomed to the dramatically changed interface, and will come to enjoy the utilitarian and additional Siri features. He also noted that iOS 7 was the biggest change in the current generation of iOS devices, not the iPhone 5S and 5C. Darrell Etherington of TechCrunch stated that although iOS 7 will be a dramatic change from the iOS many users already know and love, but on balance it's an update packed with plenty of new features that make using Apple's mobile devices easier and more enjoyable. The adoption rate of iOS 7 was reported to be as high as 35% after one day. By September 22, iOS 7 was installed on more than 200 million devices, which Apple claimed was the fastest software update in history. Shortly after release, some users reported the ability to bypass their device's passcode requirement and access certain information, which Apple fixed with the 7.0.2 update. A thread on the Apple Online forum received attention from the media in late September 2013 after a number of users reported feeling nauseated after experiencing the animations of the new operating system. George Cacano of Case Medical Center stated that the new parallax function of iOS 7 is causing the symptoms in some users, and not the animations as previously thought. Some critics noted the influence of competing mobile platforms on the design and functionality of iOS 7. Of note were the use of concepts from Android and Windows Phone, such as a similarly minimal and typographic design, Control Center being an equivalent to similar settings toggles on the notification shade of Android, a similar multitasking menu to WebOS, and even the design of the weather app being almost identical to those on Windows 8 and HTC Sense. However, they also noted that Apple has had a long history of taking concepts from other platforms of the period and claiming them as innovations of their own, including the original Mac OS which was inspired primarily by the graphical user interface of Xerox PARC Zalto. Sasha Segan of PC Magazine stated that Apple's brilliance is in putting the pieces together and marketing them. Apple's developer APIs and its history of making money for developers still reign supreme. There's less piracy than on Android, and a bigger audience and more design flexibility than on Windows Phone.